Mennonite farmhouse and I'm so excited to be invited to participate. There are so many people participating throughout all of this month. I will leave links to all of their channels down below. I hope that you will check out each one as they happen. And today I am making a delicious, quick and easy New England style clam chowder. And we're gonna do something a little different so that it comes out even faster than it normally would. So I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're gonna make a super easy, if you can believe that it's easier than regular, uh, New England style clam chowder with fall upon us. Soup is on the menu. And today we are going to make this delicious, quick and easy New England style clam chowder. We're gonna start off with clams. So I actually use six small cans of chopped clams and this is the juice from those cans. So that's what we're gonna to wanna to use uh, to flavor it up. I also have some seafood stock in a box in reserve if that isn't enough. We can always add a little bit of water and that'll be fine as well. So this looks like it's about, about two cups worth of chopped clams, about two cups worth of clam juice. For our potatoes, we're gonna use the frozen southern style hash brown. These are the ones that don't have any peppers and onions added to them and I thought why not use those? When you use the fresh potatoes they take a little longer to cook and they're delicious but I thought for a quick and easy version let's pull these out of our freezer and use them instead. So I have four cups worth of those. We're going to use an entire quart of half and half. I have a very large onion. It is about a cup and a half of chopped onion and about the equivalent amount of chopped celery. We're going to use a quarter of a cup of butter. <laughs> That's over here, Noreen. <laughs> We're going to use a quarter of a cup of butter or half a stick and the same amount of flour and that's going to thicken everything up and make our soup nice and delicious. So I have a teaspoon each of real salt and finely ground black pepper and a half teaspoon of dry thyme. Seafood and thyme get along very well. You can also add marjoram or celery seed in, in here additionally if you like or if you don't want to use the thyme, the salt, and the pepper, go ahead and just use some seafood seasoning like Old Bay and that will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and melt down the butter and meet you over at the stove once our veggies are tender. Okay, I went ahead and sauteed off the onion and the celery in the half stick of butter. And I guys, I, you guys know how to do that. And uh, it shouldn't be something that you have to watch over and over again because there are so many people participating in September. And it started at the beginning of September and there's a couple of videos every day and it's just kind of awesome. Then you have a whole catalog of soup recipes that you get to choose from throughout the rest of like forever, right? So now we're gonna add our quarter cup of flour and this really starts to make like the roux. It's gonna look really ugly for just a minute. And you're gonna think you did something wrong, but you didn't. You just want all that flour to be absorbed by the butter. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our clam juice. And I think I'm gonna add a couple of cups of water. There we go. Give that a good stir. I'm gonna add my seasonings, the salt, pepper, and thyme. Again, we're just stirring as we go. And at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our frozen potatoes. Give this another good stir. And now we're going to bring this back to a boil. I should say a simmer. And when that happens, I'll be right back. All right, we're at a very low simmer. I went ahead and put the lid on this and these potatoes are soft, which is what you want. Um, if you can just lean it, you know, press it up against the side of the, the pot and it smooshes, then your potatoes are perfect. I love the idea of using the frozen ones because it makes it even faster. In with our clams. Give that a lovely stir. And then the only thing left to do is add our half and half. And we're gonna add a whole quart, which is four cups. Stir this in. Bring this up to a simmer once again. 
You're gonna taste it for seasoning, and then your quick and easy New England clam chowder is done and ready to serve. So I'll be back and I'll show you what this looks like. We'll serve you up a bowl and we'll give it a taste. How quick was that? I love it. Well, there you have it. Our New England style clam chowder is all ready to enjoy. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's thick, it's rich, it's creamy. It's loaded with clams and potatoes and onions and celery, and it's full of flavor. Using the clam juice that came in the cans of clams is really a good way to enhance the flavor. Now, a lot of uh, clam chowder recipes call for additional clam juice. Sometimes you can't find that. In fact, I couldn't find it at any of my grocery stores. So I was really happy that the cans of clams had a lot of juice in them. And that really helped make this clam chowder flavorful and delicious. Do you want to taste this, honey? Sure. Okay, here we go. Mm. Tastes like you got it in a restaurant. Right? It's really, really good. I wish I had some oyster crackers to throw on top of here, but I don't. Short-sighted on my part, I know. But look, this is something you can make with what you already have in your pantry. If you don't have half and half, just go ahead and use milk. It's going to be just as delicious. But if you keep clams on your sh shelf or in your pantry, this is a great way to use them up. And it's also a great way to use onions and celery that you might have in the fridge that might need to be used up. Um, great way to use milk that might need to be used up or cream or what have you. This is really a great way to stretch your dollar and make sure that you're able to use all of your groceries and put them in your family's tummy instead of throwing them in the garbage can. Because right now, none of us can afford to do that. So. Hi everyone, this is editing Noreen popping in to say, I almost forgot to tell you. In conjunction with this awesome collaboration of Soup Timber, the hostess, Leanne, of the Mennonite Farmhouse channel will be having a live stream on October 1st, and she will be doing a giveaway for two $50 Amazon gift cards and one giveaway for a $100 Amazon gift card, and there's going to be door prizes as well. So make sure you stay tuned and tune in to the Mennonite Farmhouse channel on October 1st at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time to have your chance at winning one of these awesome prizes. I hope that you will check out all the links down below, check the videos that have already been uploaded for this month, and then also continue to follow as the month progresses and see what gets uploaded every single day. I hope that you will give this New England style clam chowder a try, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.